In this video, we're going to be using Docker to run an instance of the Nakama server. We'll use this server throughout the rest of the course to ensure that we have a local instance to connect with, both from our simple example and from our fish game project as well. To get started, we're going to head on back to the GitHub Heroic Labs page. So let's go to github.com Heroic Labs Nakama Unity. And then from here, we're going to scroll down to where it says install and run the servers follow these instructions. So let's click on this link here. And this basically gives us a documentation page that shows us how to run a Nakama server using Docker. We're just going to scroll down past all of this for now. And you'll see here that it says running Nakama, there's two ways to run Nakama and Cockroach. Cockroach is the database that powers Nakama. So we've got option one, which is using it without Docker Compose and option two, which is running it with Docker Compose. Docker Compose is a little tool that comes with Docker that allows you to basically write a script to instantiate a bunch of different containers and connect them together. We're going to use Docker Compose in this instance just to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. So we're going to scroll down this page here and we're going to find this docker compose.yaml file. Let's copy all of that by clicking on this little copy to clipboard button here. And I'm going to fire up uh, a Visual Studio code. Let's create a new file and I'm just going to paste the contents of that into here and I'm going to save this. Let's create a new folder here. I'm just going to create a new folder on my D drive called Nakama. You can save this any way you want. And I'm going to change the name of this to docker compose dot yml. Let's change the drop down here to make sure that we're saving it as a yml file. And let's click save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a command prompt. In this instance, I'm going to use Windows Terminal, but you can use equally a command prompt. And providing that you have docker installed, you should be able to use the docker compose command. To test that out, just type docker compose dash v, and it will tell you the version of docker compose that you have installed. If this doesn't return a version number, you may need to go back and reinstall the docker desktop to ensure that you get this tool. So now let's go into our Nakama folder. And all I'm going to type here is docker dash compose up. That's going to tell the docker compose tool to look at the docker compose.yml file here, which is in the same folder. And it's going to run all of these instructions. And basically this file is saying we want to run an instance of cockroach DB version 20.2. And we want to expose these particular ports. And then we're also going to run an instance of the heroic labs Nakama Docker container. And we're going to connect all of this up to the cockroach DB database and expose it on these particular ports here. So let's run this Docker compose file and you'll see what it will do is it will go away to the Docker container registry and it will download those images, those containers. It's just going to do some downloading and verification. It'll take a couple of minutes. And then once that's done, we should hopefully have an instance of the Nakama server up and running on our machine. So I'll come back once this is complete. Okay, so we're back and you can see here that we have a bunch of information printed out to the console here that says Nakama. And we have some various messages here that basically indicate to us that the Nakama server has started. We can see this last message here is an info level message and it says the message is startup done. We can scroll back up as well and we can also see that cockroach DB was instantiated and that printed out all of the information here telling us that it actually started as well. And we don't appear to have any error messages here and that hopefully means that Nakama is all ready to go and we can start using it in the next video.